Hello. My name is Kim Tiong from South Korea. I'm in graduate school of comprehensive human sciences, the first year of PhD program in medical sciences from laboratory of immunology. So the first of all, I want to explain my goal in my life. So I worked for a pharmaceutical company in Korea as a researcher, and I quit my job, and I here to study and to become PhD. Yeah, as a researcher and graduate student, my goal is discover the drug tendons and then uh, make some research and study and make technology transfer to some pharmaceutical company or the collaborative research with the pharmaceutical company in all over the world. After graduate, I also work and research for those pharmaceutical companies and dedicate myself to drug approval. So for my goal, and uh, why did I need Spark? Yeah. So as I worked for pharmaceutical company in Korea, I realized that there are some big gaps between academy and industry. So which means uh, the students have no chance to experience industrial idea or experience. So, but uh, Spark, uh, Spark can offer some opportunities to experience the industrial uh, study, yeah, for graduate students. So for uh, pharmaceutical companies, we have a lot of time to get FDA approval, maybe 10 or 15 years for drug approval. But in this case, what graduate student cannot experience is clinical trial. So most graduate students study in drug discovery or some like in vivo or in vitro experiment, like a preclinicals for their study. But we have to think about more in the future about clinical trial. So to make some new drugs, students must think about clinical trial in the future. So from the Spark, we could learn like a um, from the clinical needs assessments and the target product profile to group pitches from day one to three. So all of these programs are very valuable and important for attendees. Yeah, it was, it was a very good experience. So after, uh, I don't know, through the program, we finally made some collaborative teamworks and made some pitches. Yeah, it was very successful. So through the program, so how can I use the experience of the Spark Bootcamp? As I, I got to know about uh, like uh, how to evaluate drug safety in proper way for drug development. And next, how to evaluate the drug efficacy in proper way for drug development. And third, how to select the best drug candidates based on experience, uh, experiment data in vitro and vivo. So we can do our ex experiments by ourselves, but uh, make some judgments or decision is not that easy because we don't have much experience on that. But from the Spark, um, um, I could learn, yeah, how to select the best drug candidate based on experiment data. And then what kinds of endpoints and parameters needs to be considered in clinical stage or next stage? I mean, the, for clinical trials. And last one is, must have, we must have collaborative works or consulting with other researchers. So in this field, just one researcher cannot do their research or cannot make their drugs for FDA approval. A lot of people, a lot of works, a lot of steps are needed. So we have to make collaboration or concerting. And that's what I felt <clears throat> in the program. So from all of that, I could make some, my goal, like a secure, valuable drug and research assets. Uh, this is a message for potential SPAR candidates. The first one is you must have goals 
why you want to participate in Spark. And second one is you must have active attitudes. You should make some questions to uh, presenters or to like uh, mentors. Yeah. And third, like make dynamic discussion. So we already experienced some collab collaborative teamworks yeah, through the Spark program. So in that program, we had to make some discussion. So through that discussion, we should make uh, some decision like that. Yeah, that's why we need uh, make uh, we need to make dynamic discussion. So yeah, and this was my team <laughs> in Taiwan. Yeah, except me, uh, all of them are Taiwanese. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, my team. <laughs> That's all for my part. Thank you.